Good afternoon. I'm Russ Lambert. Want to welcome you to my channel or back to it or whatever the case might be. I've been away for a short time, but I'm glad to be back working on this stuff again and hope to get things back on a roll like we had going go like there for a little while. You might remember most of what we've talked about in the past has been related to the election one way or the other. In the election, I understand it's it's still not settled, but we keep an eye on it to see how things go. And I'm sure that when we know more about it, we'll talk more about it. For today, I don't know if this topic today would be classified. What 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 category would it fit into? Humor, politics, tragedy, or whatever. So I'm just going to tell you the story I've got, and, and you decide for yourself how you want to categorize it. I'm going to start off by saying I am a proud Texan. Some people say the pride I have in my state might even border on arrogance. I wouldn't argue with them. I believe that here in Texas, we do almost everything, almost everything, bigger and better than anybody else. For example, I'll just use a quick example of our football stadiums. we got a stadium over in Arlington that is the Taj Mahal of football stadiums. Is there any place more extravagant for football than AT&T Stadium? Now we just need a football team to put in it. High school stadiums, McKinney, Texas, 12,000 seats, 14,000 seats, somewhere in that neighborhood, $70 million. Katy, Katy School District just out of Houston, $70 million. I'm not sure how many it'll seat, but it's for the schools in the Katy District. Allen, $60 million, seats 18,000. And that's, that's just a few, that's the few of the bigger ones. But that's enough of that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what else we do in Texas that we do bigger and better than most other people. I can't say bigger and better than anybody because that wouldn't be true. But we do it bigger and better than most. And that is stupid. We do stupid better than most people. I mean, we can't compare to places like New Jersey or New York or California, those guys are head and shoulders above everybody else. They're in a league of their own when it comes to doing stupid. But after you get past them, we do it pretty good. Case in point, State Representative Terry Meza is a Democrat from Irving, Texas. And that's a shame. Irving's a nice city. It's, it's over between Dallas and Fort Worth. And really, it's about a 45-minute drive from where I live. But Representative Mesa has elevated stupid to an art form. She has pre-filed House Bill 196. It'll be taken up in the state legislative session that is set to, to, to convene in January. And this bill reads like something that you would expect to see coming out of California or Illinois or someplace like that. I'm, I'm just going to throw up parts of it for you, and you can just listen for yourself. On HB 196, and this is part of the bill that she's included in the text of her of this bill. Well, let me summarize it first. What it will do is it will not completely repeal the castle doctrine that we have here in Texas, but it would make it impotent. The castle doctrine, if you don't know, is the law that allows a homeowner or the resident of a home to use deadly force against an armed intruder who breaks into his home. And on that subject, Red Representative Mesa has written, I'm not saying that stealing is okay. All I'm saying is it doesn't warrant a death penalty. Well, folks, let me tell you what. 
if you come into my house uninvited, hope you prayed up. And she goes on. She said, thieves, get this, I, I can't believe. Thieves only carry weapons for self-protection. They carry a weapon for self-protection. And to provide the householder an incentive to cooperate. Well, yeah, you've got a Glock 9 pointed at your face, you're probably going to cooperate. But if I get my 357 pointed at you before you get your Glock 9 pointed at me, guess who's going to be cooperating? I can't believe she doesn't look stupid. She's a nice looking lady, looks, looks to be very pleasant. I've never met her. I don't know her. But just to look at her, I don't see that much stupid just to look at her face. Thieves carry weapons for self-protection. Now, if you believe that, I've got a beach house for sale just about 10 miles south of Tucson, and I'll negotiate with you. And I'm not even going, I'm not even going to touch on incentive to cooperate. She goes on. She said, they just want to get their loot and get away. When the resident tries to resist is when people get hurt. Well, boy, who explained that to her? I don't understand. And she says, if only one side is armed, fewer people will be killed. I don't even know how to comment on that. Of course, fewer people will get killed if only one side is armed, especially if it's the bad guy. But she wants us. As the thief is breaking in the front door, she wants us to run out the back door. Let them have it. People wonder, do I place more value on my possessions than I place on the life of someone breaking into my house? Well, my response to that is, whoever's breaking into my house has placed more value on my property than they've placed on their own life. Because I'm going to tell you flat out, I'm too old to fight with you. I'm too fat to run from you. I'm just going to bust the cap on you and let the cops figure it out. I, I, I can't understand the logic behind this. And apparently she doesn't either because she goes on in this bill. If violence breaks out, it is the homeowner's responsibility to make sure no one gets hurt. So if you break into my house, it's up to me to make sure there's no violence takes place. It's up to me to make sure nobody gets hurt. And get this. Now listen, it just it just keeps getting gooder and gooder. Then she said the best way to achieve this is to use the minimum non-lethal force possible because intruders will be able to sue for injuries they receive at the hands of the homeowner. Can you believe that? Somebody breaks through my front door. I don't know what their intentions are, but if they were, if they were legitimate, they wouldn't be breaking in. They'd be ringing the doorbell. They'd, they'd be calling. They'd be doing something else. I, 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 I can't figure out for the life of me where this woman's coming from. She said, in most instances, now she's justifying what's going on. In most instances, the thief needs the money more than the homeowner does. Well, there's a solution for that. It's called get a job. The homeowner's insurance will reimburse his losses. Okay, 
and then she continues. On balance, the transfer of property is likely to lead to a more equitable distribution of wealth. See what I'm telling you about here in Texas? We can do stupid stuff just almost as good as California and New York. Here's an example of it. Let me know your thoughts. Leave your comments if you would down below. I, I read and acknowledge comments. <coughs> Excuse me. I, 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 surely I'm not the only person in the world that thinks this lady is just Looney Tunes. Surely I'm not the only person in the world that's going to ruin somebody's day if they come in my house uninvited. Uh, curious what you think. Until next time, be good to one another. God bless you.